anyways, um, I was talking about how uh, they said that I shit out BBs, right? And it's supposed to be like a metallic ball because of the metallic ball that follows me in the sky. Well, there is a metallic ball that follows me in the sky. But the BBs that everybody's buying for like $10,000, $20,000 that is coming out of me, those are not even worth nothing because it's just regular BBs from a fucking Walmart. It's regular metal, you know what I mean? Regular BBs, just nothing special. It's probably melted drops of metal or some shit like that and, and, and formed into some metallic shape. But anyways, um... Back in elementary, it was the first time I ever swallowed BB because the teacher had told me that um, if I swallowed the BB. The teacher had told me that if I swallowed the BB, that uh, that um, it would ferment in my stomach and then it would come out. And he said, check my shit for like the next two weeks. And I checked my shit, found my first BB in the in the bathtub, right? So I grabbed that fucking BB. And I took it, put it in toilet paper, folded it up, and took it to school and stuff. And when I took it to school, <clears throat> I told him, here, here it is right here. And he said, he said, you know what, this BB will give us powers. I think it was because of the halo that I was born with and the stars that I was born with on top of my head. And um, that's what he said it would give us power. And he called me Jesus at the time. He said, that's Jesus. Because even the Loma Heights teachers, they're all clapping now. Even the Loma Heights teachers in, in the in the uh, principal's office were saying, yeah, this is Jesus. And they had a long discussion about me, even meetings and all kinds of stuff. They were so, like, freaking... I think they were, like, scientists and shit like that from NASA and, and stuff like that. And from White Sands Missile Range. But anyways, they made a, a necklace for me, and then and then it wasn't even my necklace because he made it for his daughter in the school. The teacher had told me like this, and it's like this, and it goes like that. And it has one spike, and it's made out of metal on both sides right here, and the BB stays right there in the middle, and then the necklace is up on top like that. But he made it for his daughter back in the day, and stuff like that, and um. He, what he said about that BB is that you could put that to your ear and you could listen. He said you could put that to your ear and you could listen to the satellites. He said you could put it to your mouth and speak to it like a microphone. And it works and that it, it has some kind of power. You could spin it over your head and it does stuff and all kinds of things. But I, I don't know if it was even a, quite like a, a real type of Modellion, you know what I mean? But I mean, I guess if I created it, I, I guess, like, well, congratulations, you have it, you know what I mean? It's yours, right? And there's many of them like it, so a lot of people have them. And I don't know how many people have them, but anyways, I mean, it's not really worth much. It's just a BB that I swallowed, and I don't know how it got ingested or put into my diet and my food, but it's just a BB that I swallowed, and it went straight down. I think I got a BB lodge stuck right here in my throat because when I would be sleeping, the BBs would be administered when I was asleep. So, I mean, if you really think about it, we found out how to make a new product, you know what I mean, without even it being made. And somehow, however it was made, that's how it came out. Whether it's a speaker or a microphone or a, whether it's a, it's a um, BB. Anyways, when I was a little baby, I was shot, and um, I was shot by a shotgun when I was a little baby, and I was in my uh, car seat and stuff like that, and I think that's what they're trying to steal is that money, like Chris's boys and Esa Debers in New Mexico, because Ana was supposed to get a lawsuit from California, or from New Mexico, one of the two. And it was supposed to be a lawsuit because I got shot by a shotgun when I was a little baby. And the BBs penetrated my skull and my my stomach and shit. I still got the little bit of marks and everything. And um, I knew everything. And uh, so they fucking um, are setting up like on us so they could steal her the money, the lawsuit money. It might be those people that shot me too that are around here. Whether 
whether or not I don't care I'm, you know I mean a lot of forged documents have been since all this past time so a lot there are a lot of people forged my documents and I've never signed well, any of those documents like if it's documents of stealing my money or taking away my money or or like um, using a vaccine of my blood and and saying that um, I release all fucking cause of, of whatever it is and that I won't get paid for it like I've never uh, signed those forms those are uh, those forms should have been signed with the adult acknowledgingly knowing that these documents were um, for a reason but most of those documents that were signed I never I never signed them so of me not signing them it doesn't make it okay for them to take my uh, my product I can I could flip that around and I could justify it and I could say no I was still a little kid doesn't know what's going on she doesn't know how what the hell she's signing what the hell is she thinking signing these documents and these papers there's there's no way I can stop that right there and boom I can get a lawsuit and, and uh, take my money back and stuff like that you know what I mean and a lot of my items and stuff like that but anyways back to that device that device was a a little cool thing right a little touch on the subject rocket scientist or some shit like that but yeah they, they used me all along so if you think about it they used me all along they needed me and it's funny because they said that there was 10 of us kids that had the same power and blah 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 but you know one of those people, 10 of us didn't have the same power it was me that had the same the only power all along those 10 kids were just kids from the NASA like fucking NASA or White Sands Missile Range you know the teachers worked over there at NASA and White Sands Missile Range some of them did and principals did and you know what I mean uh, then they chose their kid to take part into my dream and my footsteps in my future in reality maybe it, maybe they all work together all of them with the hospital all together you know trading me as a baby figuring out where my blood is and they said oh he's jesus he has the golden blood and and they talked about my golden blood inside the meeting in the office over there a lot of things happened and stuff like that it was at loma heights that one happened at and um elementary i used to have a haircut like fucking Joe Dirt and shit. I was the only kid that had the haircut like Joe Dirt. Looks so freaking funny. But anyways, I was just trying to act like fucking Angel. Angel was in my real dad, you know what I mean? So I mean, he was probably a part of the White Sands Missile Ring to NASA or hospital and, and stuff like that too, you know what I mean? And taking part into my dreams and my reality. You know, somebody killed my family, my real family. I don't know who it was. I gotta figure it out, you know. I, that's what. That's why I try to stay by myself and stay alone, because I want. I want to know who my real family is, and I gotta do it alone. I can't do it with somebody. I gotta do it alone and say, hey, this is my real family, and I gotta do it alone. You know what I mean? And you know they can hire up people from the hospital to act like my mother or father, and say, oh, ba ba ba, this is them. But that's not my family because they, you know, they stole a lot of money from my parents already. So they already know who to pay to. And if they could pay some poor people, they could say, oh, well, this is your poor family. They were always poor all along. And I'm like, no, that wasn't my family right there, dude. My family, I know who my family is. Either way, nobody can't sue me. Nobody can justify or judge me or even take me into court or anything because why you need to test my blood and you know the main country that is supposed to test it is actually england believe it or not and how did i know that because my dad told me that's where the the specimen came from which was me it came in from fucking a jar all the way across the across the border to america you know, um, they had me at a hospital, maybe a medical memorial or California, one of the two. And they traded me as a baby. So I don't know, I was traded as a baby. I don't know what the fuck happened. It's the hospital's fault, you know what I mean? And my dad told me, he, he runs the technology and computer and, and scientists, and, and the rocket scientists. 
He's smart, a genius at that. And he owns the Death Star, by the way. And when I was a little kid in elementary, I used to move my head like that to the like ATMs and stuff like that. And I, I used to dispense $100, $500, $50 out of the dispense of a ATM machine. Matter of fact, the Wells Fargo was the first one that I did it at. And um, ever since then, they told me I had to sign my name. And I did all my profile and my name into an ATM, nowhere else but an ATM. And uh, when I made the profile at the ATM, fucking, um, you know, that was done by Angel.